Hello. I've literally recorded this video a thousand times, like no lie. So welcome back, welcome back. Today we are doing my top 10 Sheen Home Good Home Essential Haul um, for the year 2023. Originally, I did a massive haul and I bought like 18 items and I was going to rank them from like 1 to 18. And when I tell you that video was like about to be like an hour plus long, I said, uh-uh, no, let's go shorten it down to top 10. And then like honorable mentions, everything else I did buy, I will put in the video. I'm just not going to like do like a long explanation of ranking them because it just takes too long. I don't got time for all that. So, without further ado, we're going to get started and we're going to rate my top 10 home good Sheen Home Essentials. And, excuse me, um, all the links will be in the bio, pictures, prices, all this stuff will be on the screen. So, anything you need to know, anything questions going to be going to be asked when be on the screen. I'm going to be constantly looking down with my phone for notes. But without further ado, let's go and get to the video. Okay, I don't know why, but I have been wanting one of these forever don't know why but this is the one piece meat chopper heat resistant meat masher for ground beef okay so they're letting you know so i love it because you don't have to keep like using home utensils when you're like using for ground beef however this thing was a little bit tricky now it definitely chops off chops up meat and kind of gives it more like of a dice up thing i was making hamburger help from this video so hey that's what i was doing and um it'll chop it up now if your meat is frozen you're going to put a little more elbow grease in there to kind of get a little, little little chopper uh only thing is is that the meat will get like stuck in these grooves and i have to like bang it on the skillet for the meat to fall off or you're gonna have to touch it or something because like the meat will get stuck in these grooves as it's getting mashed and it won't just slide off it'll just get stuck so that's a one con i will have to say about this but all in all it's really cool i put in the dishwasher did not melt it is heat resistant obviously um so this is a really cool little buy it was three dollars and 45 cents Honestly, I feel like that's an amazing deal for this. Um, so if you like your meat mashed, I would get this. I would highly recommend it. No issues with it at all. But like I said, is um, if your meat is completely frozen, which I don't know, you probably shouldn't be like cooking like completely frozen meat anyway. Is it water in here? Like, is it wet? It's weird. I think there's water in here. I'm sorry. Um, what? Um, it's gonna be so it, it it's great for mashing your meat and getting nice and like dice and stuff but you do have to be a little harder on it if it's some parts are frozen and like i said meat or whatever will get stuck in these grooves and you have to like mash it on the skillet out that hurt and for it's for the meat to like fall out so that's like a little con there um I feel like it's like an overhyped product that you really don't need. So I'm kind of like de-influencing this. But if you want one, get one because it's three dollars and forty-five cents. Like, well, not that expensive, but I do like it. Next on the list are the air fryer little like liner thing liners. Um, so naturally in the air fryer you don't really need a liner but it's just easier for like a mess i like to make um cheese fries and cheese makes a mess in an air fryer when it melts so i only want anything melts in the air fryer it makes a mess and it's really hard to clean sometimes so you use these liners um i like that it comes in this pack so they're kind of like they're very thin whatever what i've noticed like i made a pizza earlier you're gonna see on the video and it kind of like absorbed the grease from the pizza um to make the pizza like extra crispy so i did enjoy that i made a chicken i put a chicken on top of these and put it in the air fryer chicken was scrumdly umptious so i mean to say that um but the air this paper kind of like crinkled up around it or i guess i can i guess i can say um it won't like hold its form if that makes sense but it's not really a big deal um i would say if you use your air fryer a lot and you're kind of like i don't feel like cleaning up all the time ever uses or whatever i would recommend these because you get 50 of them for a dollar 38 so you can't really beat that price um so i do recommend them they're not as high on my list but i mean but there's something good i feel like they're very useful um 
And honestly, there's something cool. Like if you make your kids like chicken nuggets or something like that or make yourself some food, you can use this kind of like as a plate. It is very thin, so you will like need to put it like on the table. But all in all, like it's cool and it's something that I guess I would recommend, but it's not as high on my list. Not like a priority thing. So this is like an item that like you see like on Facebook ads and you're like, that is so neat or like that's so weird. And so I had to get it. So this next item I got was the like toilet light up light thingy. This was $2.59. Um, and basically how it works is all lights have to be turned off. So all lights have to be turned off. Um and you hook it to your toilet, kind of like you would if you had like them toilet freshener things. Hook it to your toilet and on the instructions it says best to put it where like the box part is facing your door so it lights up when it's motion so it's motion detected so i leave the bathroom door open so anytime somebody walks past it'll light up and the toilet will light up and it'll like change different colors i did this because i feel like in the middle of the night sometimes you don't want to turn the lava lights on you just need to know where to use it where to do the do and that like gives you enough light to know where, where to do the do at um so i think it's a real nice product honestly and for two dollars and 59 cents you really can't beat that um it's just something cool to have i think and if you kind of want it and it's really cheap and inexpensive why not get it it's something good to get it's a little you know home decor home hack thing if you want to get it and i don't know i do recommend this product and on to the next one now this item is the blackout curtain so i really need some blackout curtains because um, the way the TV is set up, like I hate when you have your TV in your room, you get a glare from the window, no matter how closed the, blind, the blinds are. So I got some blackout curtains. Now, let me just say this. Let me just say this. I was deceived. I was deceived. In the picture, doesn't it show like two blinds? Okay, so I'm thinking I'm getting two. No, honey, I got one. I got one blind D or blind panel. That's what I got. Sorry, my dog just came in here. I want to see how it works. When I tell you this is the reason why I'm almost late to work each morning, because it's so dark. And the light will be shining through, and I won't know that it's really that early or that, you know, it's time for me to get up because it really blacks out all the light. And it's a really good thing because even from outside the house, it looks dark as well. Like you can't see in the house, inside the house as well with these um with these blackout curtains. So I would highly recommend these. I thought they're a good price, eleven seventy four. Um, they do what needs to be done. They do come in different sizes based on how tall and how wide your window is. So I definitely would look at those measurements. And honestly, I would recommend this item for your home because they do what needs to be done. They are black blackout panel um blinds. I mean whatever whatever curtains the hell, um, and. They're really good material. They're really thick too. They're not thin at all. Um, so I would really suggest that you guys get these. Um, they worked out for me and I don't have any issues with them. And I highly recommend, I would say you will need to get two unless you have one window in your room um, because they only give you one, even though it's two in the picture. So that's one thing about Shane. You need to fix your pictures because y'all are lying and deceiving people. And we don't like liars. So all in all, that's what it got ranked on my list. And we're on to the next one okay so next on the list is uh, okay it's the simple georamic shape aromatherapy oil lamp candle holder for home use girl it's a wax mail burner that's really what it is so this is what it is in the queue literally this is what you would get at walmart so this was originally five dollars and sixty cents i got it for five dollars and ten cents hey get at it so it doesn't come with that candle at the bottom it obviously comes with just this and that really cute and it has some oil in it so have to be careful so what i would say with this honestly i love it okay um super easy to put together all you need is to get the tea light um things and i'll show you what they look like if i can get it out hold on i have to like dismember this whole thing so the tea lights you'll need those you can get them at anywhere you can find a pack of 20 at dollar tree for dollar 25 hello so this is this is like what you need a tea light candle um and these will burn for you know a, a little a little a good amount of time um and then obviously it comes with this put the tea light in the middle and then you set the little cup on top 
obviously right now I have some um, fragrance oil inside of it. Now you can burn a wax smell or you can burn oils. I use oils for my fragrance, my own fragrance oil for my own candle company. Shout out to that. <laughs> Link in the bio. Um, and I burn those. Obviously you can do wax melts as well. But, excuse me, but with these, um, they don't burn as long and the flame cannot be as bright. Now you can get thicker ones that can fit under there. And they'll burn longer and those are better for wax melt. So all in all, I really do like this. Um, no issues with it. It's good. You just only thing is if you do use um oils and you have a uh like something like this burning, they're gonna want to use a lot because if you don't use enough, it will give like a burning smell like something's burnt or something's on fire so you want to put a, a good amount in here in the dish not just a couple of drops honey you want to you want to kind of drown it okay you want to you know see it moving see it jiggling in there um because like i said it's so close the flame will be so close basically to the bottom of it it's going to give a burning smell if you don't put a lot of fragrance oil in this um in the dish all in all i do like it then you're a 10 out of 10 no issues with it and for five dollars and ten cents really can't beat that and we'll go on to the next one okay next on the list is something for your kitchen and that is the three bowls um this one again gets me with like how big i think something's gonna be so this is the smallest bowl and this is it folded and you like pop the lid off or whatever and you're gonna press in Ugh. and you have a bowl just really really cute and then let off this is this is the smallest bowl that's the smallest one and then this is the medium size bowl again pop the lid off pop it out medium medium size bowl and this is a large bowl. Pop the lid off. Pop that out. Medium sized bowl. I needed bowls because I do like, like if I'm mixing something or cleaning something off, I don't really have bowls. And I feel like these are great for work um, to go on your lunch bag and stuff because after you're done, you just collapse them. So i like them they're very durable i did put them in the dishwasher and use them they didn't shrink they didn't turn out weird so they are dishwasher safe so that is cool um and all in all i do like them they're really cool <clears throat> excuse me they were five dollars and 15 cents so i feel like that's a good deal for all of these and i think they like all fit into one another i want to like try it real quick um and see and yeah they're really durable so let me do it the right way first of all or do i leave the lid on probably not okay this is the big big bowl medium small oh yeah and then you do put the lid in there duh and you put the lid the other lid and then this lid but then you can't really close it because like it has to fit it but you can store it like that but i like them um because obviously once you're done you can just collapse it and then store it like that so these are cool i think these are really good and nice and durable i feel like this is something that you would find in target it's really good quality um so i like them i feel like they're really good to have um for maybe this coming up holiday or like i said for work i would take them to work for me for my lunches so i like them 10 out of 10 as far as quality and stuff and they didn't have a they don't have a weird smell or nothing like that. I've had them in my house for a minute, so they smell in my house. But yeah, these are really nice. Would recommend. And I guess it can probably go to go to show that like their kitchen stuff is pretty durable and something that I would recommend. So all in all, pretty good. And we're on to the next one on the list. Okay, next on my top five list would be these motion lights. So this these are motion lights um, that are meant, I guess, for like your hallway. In the picture, it's for your stairs, but I kind of flipped them because um, I actually bought another set of lights that um, 
I have a remote with it, but these don't have a remote. So these are motion sensor sensor lights. I have these lights. I'll show you in the video on the screen that these lights are in my hallway. So at nighttime, if I'm walking past, it'll light up the it'll light up the whole hallway. And it does come with a sticky tab on the back of it for you to attach it to your wall. Um, this product did take batteries. I think it was triple A batteries. And I believe you needed two or three. I'll put on the screen how many you needed for that. For the price, it wasn't that bad. I did like it. Oh, excuse me. I did like it. Um, it only came with one, but in the picture, it's showing like freaking freaking three and only came with one. But I do like it. I would recommend this for your hallway or maybe in your bathroom or whatever, some kind of maybe dark place you want to put these um in their motion sensor. Um yeah, I, at first I did have them um, under my kitchen cabinets, um, whatever, they would light up the countertops. It ended up falling, so I said, okay, maybe gravity isn't working with these, and just put it in my hallway. I like it a lot better in my hallway like that. Um, I've had them up for a minute, no issues in my hallway. That's why they're in my top five. I think they're real a good essential to have in your house instead of having a nightlight um, because you don't have to put them into a plug. They just use batteries. Um, so that's why these are my top five. And now we're on to the next one. Okay, so this product was in my top five because I loved it that much. And I feel like I'm one of the little TikTok girls when I got this. So um this is the lights with the remote thing you got a pack of lights and a remote and basically you put you need three triple a batteries for the lights and then the remote also needs two or three triple a batteries for the remote to work as well and basically you put the batteries in the lights and back of the light has a sticky thing you stick that on against the wall whatever and it's meant for your stairs so i have um two flights of stairs and it can be really dark at night so um i put it on like the side of my stairs which you'll see in the video and use the remote to turn them on the remote has an on button off button a dimming a dim setting and then a setting to keep the lights on for 30 minutes um the only reason this wasn't rated higher on the list is to do the fact that they had to buy so many batteries so i believe i got i believe it came with four or five i don't know in a pack with the remote and then you have to buy three triple a batteries as well batteries are expensive i bought a pack of batteries for like $14 and that was a generic brand so think about that you already bought this product which was fairly cheap and price everything's on the screen and then you got to buy batteries as well it kind of adds up so that's why I wasn't as high on my list because the fact it needed three triple a batteries just to work and then one of them wouldn't turn on I don't know what was wrong with that and then one of them was have to kind of oh excuse me one was acting kind of wonky the good thing is about this is that I did buy two sets of these lights and one remote will work for the whole entire set. It also came with a um, little like remote holder so you could put it like on like your wall or near your TV stand or whatever so you won't lose the remote. So I honestly loved it because it lit up the whole entire stairs. Um... And it was super easy to install. The only thing that was a hassle for me was finding um, all those triple A batteries. Because you need three for each individual light. I want to know. I love it. I would recommend these. I think these will really be really nice. Even if you don't have stairs, you can use these to um, light up your closet in the, on my, you know, the shelf or whatever. These can be used in your kitchen to be underneath your cabinets. But um, you can really put these anywhere. But all in all, these are really good quality. I love the lights. I love that they come with a remote. And you can set them on a timer for 30 minutes or you keep them on, keep them off, whatever. But the big pro, big con for me was the fact that you need three AAA batteries for just one. So you're going to be spending a lot of money out of pocket just to get these products to work. All in all, I would recommend it and this is why it's in my top five um and we're on to the next one under this one okay so this one was tied and it was almost number one almost but i just i couldn't give the number one spot and i'm gonna tell you why it's a long name so basically in the picture 
Um, I posted a picture of it. It has like a toothpaste dispenser. Um, that one, that part was kind of hard to figure out. I'm not even gonna lie. So that's why you, when you see the video of the product in my bathroom, you won't see that I put it on my wall. Um, but basically, it had multiple options. So for this one, this was originally eight dollars, and then I got it for four seventy two. So it um holds. It says it's for um. I don't know it's weird so basically in the video you'll see that i knocked it down crazy um that was not rehearsed that was literally uh, yeah did what it had to do but so basically it comes with a sticky thing kind of like one of these and like you stick it to the wall and you leave it on leave it on your wall for like 15 or 30 minutes or whatever for it to like stick and then you put the like the, you put the thing the two thing on there so it comes with um like four um cups that cover basically your toothbrushes but inside the cups it's two toothbrush holders so you can put two for you really can fit eight toothbrushes i don't know why you would share a bathroom with eight people i'm not judging but if you had eight toothbrushes, that's how many would fit in this dispenser. And also, the cups obviously come off of there. And you can use those for your mouthwash or water or whatever. And those are real cups that you can actually use. And you can see in the video, I used the cup and it didn't link or nothing like that. And then on top of the toothbrush stand you put your toothpaste your mouthwash things like that now keep in mind you this thing is being held on to your wall kind of like something kind of like a command strip and you don't want to put like a whole bunch of stuff on top of it because it's probably going to fall down if, if, like, if we're being realistic um but i don't know i do like it because before this i was getting like the little toothbrush caps i put a picture of what i used to get i had the toothbrush caps to put on my toothbrush and put the toothbrush on the counter but um but the sink i have now isn't a lot of counter space so if you if you like counter space in your home and you have a lot of stuff in your bathroom i will highly recommend this product because it frees up so much counter space with the toothbrush the floss the um mouthwash literally whatever it don't even have it can be put deodorant whatever all that little hygiene stuff you can literally put on the wall and now you have tons of more counter space that's why this was rated so high because it it, it i loved it i said oh my god i have to get one of these now they do have different options on the website they have options for smaller ones and bigger ones the one i got i think is think one of the more bigger ones um but i feel like for because i got it on sale so to get it for four dollars and 72 cents i feel like that's a great deal like that's amazing and it took no no much time to set up it was really easy like i said it wasn't rated as high because the toothpaste dispenser part was a little bit confusing and maybe i just didn't have all my brain cells working that day because i honestly don't know how to set that part up that's why i didn't put it or how i did put it and it is kind of wobbly but that could be um human error of why it's so wobbly and why it did fall in the video but i highly recommend this product like if we if i ever i would probably get this for a christmas present like so serious because this product is amazing you need it for your house i'm telling you it saves you so much counter space and it's not a paid ad because i'm talking like it is a paid ad but it's not but i love this product and i'm glad i got it because it was so random and for that price why not but i'm um, last but not least we're going to get to the number one spot on the list number one spot on the list is this broom now you made me thinking did i really wait this whole time to be told that a broom was the best yes it is and let me tell you why because i'm telling you right now the people overseas are doing something right because honey i have never met what is it called tame a dish pan i mean a dust pan that has like is it zero gravity i don't know what it is where when you sweep there's no gap this is a dustpan these are all your crumbs and they are just not this one honey not this one it glides onto the dustpan i promise you i've never i don't i spent so much money on dustpans so much money and never no one has ever been leveled to my floor like that where it can just sweep i'm sorry that alone that alone Got it the number one spot. Now, however, 
However, however, however, there are some cons. And really, it could be number two, if, if we being real. Okay, so first, you got to put it together. Okay, not 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 too bad, you know what I'm saying? What What's hard with putting together a broom? A lot of things, let me tell you. Um, first of all, there's a lot of parts that didn't really make sense to me. So there's like the little handle thing that like sticks out like that. You'll see it in the video. What is that for? And it's not like sticking or like holding to the... Um, to the to the broomstick it's weird and then the um and then the pole that sticks to the dustpan that keeps coming out i had to use um gorilla glue to stick that in there so some parts of it i don't know it said to twist it and pound it in there maybe i wasn't using enough elbow grease i don't know but Parts, parts of it were a little flimsy. I'm not going to lie. But like I said, with some Gorilla Glue, go buy you some. Um, the product does what it needs to do, honey. And then, let me tell you, and then let me tell you another part about it, another feature. It has the bristle comb thing. So you get your brush, your broom, and you brush it against the bristles. And it basically gets all the hair and twine and whatever off your broom. You know how hard it is? When you got your broom and it got all this all the hair on it, that's annoying. And it combs it off for you. I'm sorry. And the, the price is $11.88 on sale. Now, it was originally $14.70. Whatever. Who cares? Um, but for $11.88, I think that's a good price. That's why, I'm sorry, it's number one because it's so easy and efficient. Like, I hate when I'm sweeping, and you know how you sweep, and, like, you think you're done, and you have, like, that little trail of crumbs, because those crumbs couldn't reach the dustpan? I don't have that problem. Show me a dustpan that does that in America. You can. You can. But Sheen provided a way for me, and I'm so happy. And it's number one, baby. I'm sorry. Number one, go get this broom. I'm telling you, go get this broom and dustpan. You won't be disappointed. You won't now you will be disappointed because it is a little flimsy, like I said. So there are some cons to it. It's not, it ain't a hundred proof. It ain't all you know, it ain't got everything it need to have, and it is a little flimsy, yada yada yada. But it doesn't need to be done. So that's why it is number one on my list. Um, so yeah. Um, all in all, I feel like Sheen is a really good place to get a lot of these products from. Um, like I mentioned, uh, a lot of part of these products you can find on Tumu. But after I heard Tumu was taking people's credit cards and their debit cards and they were selling it to people and people's cards was getting hacked, I said, oh no. Because Tumu was giving little like fishy spy vibes. What's going on? You're being kind of weird. Because why is it so cheap? You know what I'm saying? Sheen, I can, I can, I can rock with her. You know what I'm saying? Like she cheap, but she know her worth. You know, like well, we have a friend like that. So you know, she's kind of like that. Um, so yeah, I feel like don't sleep on Sheen when it comes to the household items because Sheen has those. It's your girl, okay? She got a lot of good stuff besides clothes. I feel like she's kind of slept on, but y'all keep sleeping because the prices be low, and I'll just keep buying it for myself. But all in all, this is my 2023 um home essential home goods whatever essentials from sheen that you need to buy um and these are really good christmas gifts honestly because they're really cheap and they do what needs to be done let me know if you ever bought bought anything from sheen as far as like their home stuff besides clothes and let me know what you think i should try next because i probably will do be another do another haul from from sheen because all in all this total um from sheen wasn't you know wasn't that bad and i got it pretty fast and everything was pretty decent so in all in all Thank you guys for watching. Remember, I love you and so does God. And y'all have a great day.